<clears throat> All right, welcome back to another episode of Night Tuning. As I said yesterday, I would make um, this right here is another Motorola built General Electric radio. This one's from late 70s, early 80s, I believe. So actually around the same time as the other one, although they are not the same as in the stations that they pick up. So I think I'm going to uh, flip it on to radio. Uh, you getting anything? This is FM. I'm using a headlamp, if you can't tell. So that I am using a good thing. Not a normal light. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Danzo the Planet Man fighting for fair play. stations coming in pretty good. And you can see the little station indicator, signal strength indicator right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see the little needle. That was coming in pretty strong. Pancake breakfast. Built in crash shell. There's that public station. Alright, now we're going to go back. And this, look at that antenna that I'm using. It's an old television antenna. Not out to the fullest capabilities, I guess you could call it, but yeah, it's out pretty far. That is not a more that's <laughs> Oh, 
blah, but which is about... Mall Center for the Arts in Burlington, New Jersey. That's I hope you are enjoying it. And how far? All right, that's all the way up and down for FM. Time to go to AM. All right, I was just testing to see if the that crackliness will go away. I think. I wonder if that crackliness is from that uh, Delco transistor I replaced, since it was it was in okay condition, but it had come out of a radio, an existing one. Uh, and I'm not sure what the specific slot for it did, since I didn't have any schematics or anything. Uh, so that it might be controlling some kind of AM tuning system since it is kind of by the ferrite rod with the copper uh, coiled around it, the AM antenna. So, yeah, maybe that's what it is. It did come out of an AM only Delco transistorized radio. Scott Sloan tomorrow about 9.37 a.m. His guest will be Amy Wagner of Simply Mike. Call the News Radio 700. That is your audio. JeffWeilerHonda.com. Prescription cards recorded online. I do that one is. At the position is. Um, was hearing uh, my rabbi. Uh, slam or cycle? Are you a vegetarian? Finally, if you live at... Do that a little slow, slower. I believe that's a Canadian station. The station only uses Celsius for the weather. I picked it up real good on one of my transistor pocket radios one, uh, one night. Um, same one that picked up the station from Chicago right around in here. 700 to 10, or to, yeah, 10 hundred. 1,000.
That sounds like AM stereo, the AM automatic AM stereo thing, right around 1240, which pretty much I believe, as is a hypothesis, what I believe it does is separates the different frequencies out to different things, like a bass kind of frequency and so many hertz to so many hertz on this speaker and then another bass frequency and then also this many hertz to this many hertz on this speaker that's just a hypothesis i'm not actually sure but i do know that am stereo was a thing on a lot of general motors uh car radios in the late 80s mid to late 80s they had am stereo which am doesn't even broadcast in stereo so that's how i thought up of that hypothesis um, hope you enjoyed. Um, you know what? I still have to go all the way down on AM. What am I doing?